This four-star two-way player is the next Travis Hunter, and I'm finna show you why. But what's good, YouTube? It's your boy back with another banger, man. But before we get into this video, if y'all can leave a like, comment, and subscribe for me, it's free. It only takes like 30 seconds, and it helps me keep on going. It helps me keep on grinding, putting out these videos for y'all, because I love making these football videos for y'all. Y'all don't have to, but we on the ground at 2K, man. We so close. But if y'all do, I would really appreciate it. But let me just stop all this talking and let's just get right into it. So today we got Jordan Pride. He's a four star. He's a safety cornerback wide receiver. You can put him really anywhere. That's why I'm saying he's a next Travis Hunter. And he's 6'1 and he weighs 175. My fault. He's actually 6'1 and a half, which is a huge difference. Basically 6'2. Plus he's class of 2024. And I'm going to be playing his highlights in the background of this video while i'm talking about all this so just watch it while i'm talking about it now he did go to img his first couple games of this season that's why you might see some highlights of him in the img like uniform but he decided to go back to his hometown bluntstown and that's who he's playing for right now which the team that he plays for is six and four but ever since he went back to that team they've been two and one which don't get me wrong six and four is still a really really good record now here's the last three games he played at at Bluntstown. They play Baker, which is a six and three team. They beat them 35 to zero. They play Walton. They lost 19 to 28, but they're a seven and two team. And y'all saw they beat Port St. Joe 42 to 14, which uh, St. Joe is seven and two also. Which the St. Joe game was a SSAC conference championship game, and they absolutely shut them down. Which that game was so hyped. There was so much trash talking involved in that game. But the crazy thing is, it's only an hour away from where i live plus i used to play with jordan pride when he when i was in like ninth grade he used to go to my school and then he left and then i saw him in like 10th grade and this man like absolutely like grew like maybe a foot and a half but he's not only a football player he actually plays baseball basketball and competes in track field events as well now on 247 sports he is a four star like i said but he is the number eight safety Plus, he's the number 20 safety in the whole state of Florida. And don't forget, he's class of 2024. So if I'm not mistaken, he is a sophomore or a junior right now. And this man is super athletic. I mean, I couldn't find his 40 time, but these are verified results results off 247 sports so his high jump he jumps a 6-2 and then for his 100 meters he runs 11.02 which if i did have to guess his 40 time is probably around a 4.3 which he already has 15 huge college offers i mean let me just go over with you he has fsu which he's committed and he committed 7-3-2021 he's got alabama georgia kentucky maryland miami and you thought we was done hold up he's also got michigan state mississippi state temple tennessee texas a&m ucl plus usl florida and georgia tech now every single squad just name right there is a huge huge d1 college football program i mean he can go anywhere but like i said he is committed to florida state which I love to see that man because I'm an FSU fan and I can't wait to see him ball out there. Now, I'm pretty sure he's listed as a safety or a cornerback, but you can put him either side of the ball. You can put him at wide receiver, cornerback, wherever. That's why I'm saying he's going to be the next Travis Hunter, which if y'all didn't know, Travis Hunter was committed to Florida State also, but he flipped signing day to go to Jackson State with Deion Sanders. But if Jordan decides to decommit from Florida State, which I will, like, I will would love to see him play at florida state don't get me wrong but if he does it's his choice at the end of the day and i'll still watch him wherever he goes now here's his stats for as a wide receiver for the season like i said he he went to img but he switched to bluntstown so it's only four games actually not three but he has 13 catches 337 yards and he averages 84.3 yards per game which that's really good for only four games but I couldn't find how many like catches he had on him when he was playing DB or safety. But I know it's not a lot, maybe only like top three. But Jordan has so much potential, man. I mean, it's crazy because I play with him. That just blows my mind. But when I tell you, he looks way, I mean, way bigger in person, which he does have a huge advantage. Like I said, he's like 6'1", 6'2", right now. 
Plus, he's probably still going to grow maybe to 6'3". You never know. But, it, like, when you play a defensive position like safety or cornerback, tall, like, when you're tall, it helps a lot because you're going to get matched up with, like, 6'5", maybe even 6'7", wide receivers in college, especially when you're playing at the top level. But that, that height is going to definitely help him because a little, like, a little player definitely can't guard him. But I'm going to start wrapping everything up right here, y'all boys. I hope y'all enjoyed. I had to make a video on my boy Jordan Pride. Go check him out. Keep up with him because I'm telling you he's going to be big one day. He's definitely going to be playing on Sundays. But yeah, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe on this video. I know it's a little short one, but I'm just, I, I, I had to make a video on him, you feel me? But yeah, it really helps me out a lot. We're going to grind a 2K. We only like 50 off. So I'm trying to gonna I'm trying to get that maybe by next week. But yeah, I hope y'all boys enjoyed the video and have a nice day and I'm out. Peace.